said that the total construction of that was that the strike sample said that the very average mode gave us that the policy council was only on the second of the south and south to be to call the flat and vision that it's agreed. Uh, and we would do this, we would do that, we would do the utility center. Uh, that's where we thought that really the targets were then to be agreed by the NSD partners and the NSD partners. And essentially, really, I wanted to do a follow up with your recommendations until obviously we've been given the opportunity to select some targets uh, and to put them into place so that we felt at least they were still more cautious than <laughs> to monitor them in certain <coughs> targets. It just struck me as slightly unfair. So, 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 so I'll follow up to a number of recommendations on how to put the place of policy uh, and the proposed management framework before we know what the framework looked like and what, how it would be populated. In, in response, can we have the, uh, that's the first of a number of options in the area of operations and it's all about making sure that the, uh, the infrastructure is right there to develop that policy in the right way. So it's about us making sure that some of the issues that we've had in relation to that are, are being embedded into the systems that are now going in more officers and engage with them and so on and so on and identify and so on. So uh, it, it's a staggered sort of whole plan. You're quite right what you're saying. We couldn't possibly come in and expect the officers to address all the issues at this very early stage in the process plan. But we will be coming back here. So you will get something in the uh, in relation to the developments of all the different sectors in the December update and then we get more than we need to see. Uh, and in relation to the, uh, the payroll issue, the payroll issues are the external orders that picked up more issues Yeah. 
effects of the hierarchy to make sure that the file, especially the letter line, is absolutely spot on before it is transmitted.
to, to, to get us back on track in that. Uh, we also then agreed that uh, there's for members uh, to have an overview and an oversight of the overseas travel, uh, that in order for that to take place, it would be agreed that the Transformation Resources Policy Reforms Committee will have oversight of that. Uh, and it's anticipated that the first report uh, on overseas travel will be presented in January uh, next year. And finally, in terms of the further updates on that, um, there is also an element to ensure that there is also further work that's undertaken. So not the travel is undertaken per se, but then it, it, there, is, there is absolute clarity on what expenditure that is taking place around the travel, around the travel costs, tipping around those that the actual travel costs, which the anticipated travel costs, which would be covered under the M38 law, and the target based implementation for that particular recommendation uh, is next month, December. So if you want to back and brief us, or if happy to take questions on the
structure to one. That's why it's that's sort of the group arrangements that we could be a mobile phones. We do this on a, on, on a regular basis, really, in terms of staff who leave. Uh, we ensure that's part of their, their departure. Uh, that they, they provide the, the, the mobile phone uh, back to us. But equally, in terms of the provision of the mobile phones, the approval of the business case is now, is now in hand. Um, we have to justify the retention of the phone on an annual basis uh, and also make sure that the mobile phone is actually absolutely returned uh, on the event of employee leaving the authority. In terms of going back to charges, I think we need to cover this and apologies to, to, to yourselves. Um, but there is an automatic data roaming uh, activity for the, the going abroad uh, that is now being disabled and no international premium rate calls, no child donations, no international roaming uh, will be taking place without the permission of the Chief Executive or the Strategic Director. In terms of the, suit the suitability of handsets, uh, it had been issued uh, that on, on, on any handset that we do, we now tighten that control and phones will only be provided on, on the basis of having a standard handset uh, unless for the purposes of, uh, of agile working where, where it's important that we include data and that will be available again then on any on the same service strategic director. Clearly, uh, the Public Risk Management Committee are concerned about records of all users who are accurate and up to date, and we have undertaken a data cleansing exercise uh, which ceased on the 31st of October. We've now suspended 560 phones uh, that we have, uh, 18 of those being reconnected so far. Um, because of people uh, actually picking us up and being desirous of the means to keep them. Of those 560 phones that have been suspended, the vast majority of them have actually been uh, uh, switched off already as a consequence of people leaving the local authority. So it's not necessarily the case that we have uh, many phones that are just after um, being used uh, inappropriately, but they've been closed down and not been closed down as part of the contract arrangement. Um, we will review this policy and to ensure that we've got a full grip on this. Uh, but more importantly, we are setting up a centralised business support unit which will monitor the bills and also seek the payments for personal calls and offices. So it's not led by directly the tax concession control. But hopefully, sir, what we have from uh, the, the internal audit team uh, is, is an amber rating for all of those because we now have the, the, the process in place that will obviously be now subject to the team re, uh, re audit uh, issue. Uh, but I'm, I'm hopeful that now and confident that, that, uh, that we will have this uh, not, only, not only as a steady state now, but we'll review down the to ensure that we can get the news with on this. So I'll have a call, Joe. Questions? No? Okay. Can we now read the recommendation? Yeah. Yeah. Go with us. That's well. Item 5, Mark. Yeah. The council recently resolved that uh, they sophisticated control of the school impacts of the uh, 46,000 pounds due to the diversion from the intended recipient to our central bank account and subsequent long-term commercial accounts. This type of law is fairly common and has recently been the use to target many organizations and actually function within public and private sectors, including many of the most area and policies in the long-term world. This report summarizes the nature of the draw, the detail of the action by the council to investigate the incident and its subsequent referral on to the police and the health control. An action plan has been prepared by the general to see management following the investigation and identifying 10 recommendations for implementation, immediate implementation of that. These were included in the monthly uh, order of this management commission report, which you received in September. And basically, uh, to summarise, stress the importance of compliance with documented policies and procedures of all standards. Management have acted on these uh, in terms of the law that we should be following up on the progress that's been made. I can only report the outcome of that form of details. Um, since the report was actually written, um, we have had further contact or we've undertaken further investigation with the, uh, the banks concerned and their support teams and have managed to identify um, a number of account holders resident in the south of England. may or may not be 